<laughs> hello, 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 booktube and world. It's I, Capri Nicole, and I'm back with another video. So this is actually the day after I filmed this video. I just realized that I forgot to do an intro for it. But, you know, I like to take y'all everywhere with me. And for my birthday, I came out to Savannah, Georgia, which is like four hours away. So a little mini staycation, a little three, four day staycation to go book shopping and tour the city and have a good time. Today is actually my birthday. <laughs> Blessed and happy to see another year. In this vlog, we're gonna be going to two different bookstores. One is called the Book Lady Bookstore and the other one was called E Shavers Bookstore. So I'm gonna take you guys to each of them and then we'll talk about what I got at those bookstores it was really i was nervous because it was supposed to be raining but luckily it didn't rain while i was out there the weather was good i looked good i had a good time it was very how do i say this i don't want to offend anyone but i was like the only black person out there like i've been to i've been to savannah a few times but like when i come out here i'll be in different parts so it was a little bit different but it was a beautiful scenery like the, the park was beautiful the trees i just oh i love trees like the trees that i saw there kind of reminded me a lot of like when i went to hawaii like if you've seen that vlog if you haven't i'll put it up here but when we went to hawaii and we went on like the outdoor tour that one like the trees and everything around there was reminded me of that i like to take you guys to different places other than barnes and noble like i like barnes and noble but like there's a lot of independently owned bookstores that i want to support so i just wanted to show you guys you know, I like to show y'all around, y'all. I like to take y'all everywhere with me. Let's go over to our first stop, which is going to be the Book Lady Bookstore. See y'all in the next clip. The sun's kind of coming out. I think I'm in like a downtown area. So. The trees look so pretty. Look at the trees. It makes me think about Hawaii. We in Savannah, chow. So oh, cool. It's a horsey. So we in the country for real out here. in that little parking lot. I don't want that. Oh, you don't? Okay, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have the book, so I thought I thought you worked here. No, no, I'm just a uh, worker. Okay. Upset books. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll try to find the... Yeah, oh, there's a right? Okay, thank you. What do you think? <gasps> yes, I know.
the bed. Yeah. So, the Book Lady Bookstore. This one was really cool because it was like very old like you know how like in today's day and age there's a lot of like very modern houses i wonder if the i'm sorry if you guys can hear the ac but child it's hot i am about to be up in here sweating so i do apologize but it is what it is okay you know how like in today's day and age there's a lot of like modern houses and stuff like that but then every once in a while you see like this really old like vintage house that has like creaky floors and has like that old house smell and just has like really good structure that's what this bookstore was like it was just very old it was very it had like creaky floorboards there were just books everywhere like it wasn't like perfectly organized with good lighting and all this like it was just like small but like it had it was the setup was really cool there was a lot of like corners to go into there was a lot of like historical stuff and the setup was just really cool it was old it was interesting it was very vintage so let me show y'all what i got from there so i got three books from that bookstore and the three books i got first let's start from the beginning i got anansi <laughs> i got anansi the spider honestly anansi just sparks so many happy memories in me because like this is one of like my childhood og books like my mom used to take us to the library and there used to be these storytellers there and there's this very distinct memory i have of this this african dude that had this well back in the day it used to be cassette players so he had this cassette player and he narrated like six different stories and one of them was anansi but it was the it was my favorite cassette and i i don't remember the name of that man i don't remember i remember all of the songs and it's just it just was such a key moment in my childhood and like my mom used to always read the story to us as well it's just like one of my favorites so i just wanted to pick something up because as y'all know, I am building my children's TBR for when I have my future kids. They gonna have a whole like bookshelf, but I just keep picking up books <laughs> for like my future kids, like way, way in the future. But yeah, so I got Anansi the Spider, which is like one of my favorite children's books. Oh, I love it. And then I also got All Boys Aren't Blue. So I've actually already read this. I listened to this on audiobook. I really, really enjoyed it. I've been wanting a physical copy of this for a really a while so i'm happy that i was able to pick it up this story basically is following it's like a it's like a memoir almost of this this coming of age memoir and just like his journey through being queer and finding himself especially in the black community like when you're a gay black boy it's just like a whole nother whole other thing child but like he talks a lot about like everything he went through his upbringing so it's just his memoir and it was really beautifully written definitely check the triggers for this one though if you go into it but i really enjoyed it i love this cover so i'm really happy to have this i also picked up brown enough true stories about love violence and the student loan crisis so i'm really interested in reading this y'all know i like reading nonfiction because i like just knowing about things that's going on around me and outside of my life or things that don't really affect me because i went to college but i was not getting no student loans like i, I don't give a damn <laughs> what anybody said like when they told me the amount that you had to pay to go to college excuse me i don't think so i was not going for that but i know there's like student loans and all those other, other things you can do or whatever but i was not trying to do that but i do like reading and understanding about like systematic racism or you know the student loan crisis or things that people of color deal with that don't personally i don't deal with myself but i still i still want the knowledge i would assume this is nonfiction, but i'm not 100 percent sure so child i guess we're gonna figure out together but really like this cover really excited to read this so now let's go over to the second bookstore which is e shavers bookseller so i'll see y'all in the next clip
expanse of life And I remember when I opened in pills to take 12 Health is a cure to the curse And lately it saved me from myself So I refuse to be reckless With my hell dreaming up for the mission You cannot touch me when I get on pushing up Just me to you, they won't get it up Take a heavyweight to the wall Oh, my fingers fall My hands untold And can't be sold My prayer is only If you call I'll reach that jump My will be done Before I left here Hold me down another minute I know If you're in touch with me I'll give you my home if I can be alive Then I'm wishing I'll forgive you Find my wings Lift me up and turn me to something And no, oh, find my wings In the time I have as long as I'm functioning And why wait until this thing is on your back I'm painting my way when it's too dark to keep track traditionally published bookstore more of like a Barnes and Noble-esque spot like I really like going to one place that has like a ton of books that aren't very well not traditionally published but you know like not like the hype books the books that everybody's talking about I like going to one of those and then one that's more like traditional like regular books stuff like that so I like going to like one of each which is why I took you, took you guys there and this one was really cool I love the setup like it just oh, I loved it so much it just eh, I, I know everybody wants like a library, but I want like a little house. <laughs> I want like a, a whole house on the side of my house where it's just like my bookstore. Like I just want something mini, like that place wasn't that big. I want something like that. Like you know how they have like the she sheds or like, you know, the, ba the houses be having like in the backyard you have like the shed. I want something like that, but I want all my books to be in there and I want it to be like a whole setup and like a whole thing that store reminds me of like something that i would want it wasn't too big but it's just like the way they had everything set up was really cute they had so many books i almost bought the fourth wing but that book was like 30 dollars. i still might get it though because i like them sprayed edges and i've been hearing the girls talk about it a lot it has dragons it's a fantasy book but i might still snatch that one up you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah so it was just really cool and they had cats sleepy cats at that like chubby sleepy cats that were just lounging as you guys saw in the window lounging on like ladders and like obviously i love cats but you know i don't want to like unless they're coming towards me I, I let them be and he was sleeping both of them were sleeping so they were just cute cute fluffy and sleepy and they were adorable they just added to the store and there were so many like cute little stickers and bookmarks and 
it just was so much fun I, I really almost spent a grip there I had to be like whoa, whoa, whoa slow down slow, slow down here <laughs> like we have other things to do for the birthday weekend so I was like let me let me relax a little bit so I did end up picking up two books did I get two books yeah I got two books I got some stickers and some bookmarks so I got bookmarks two books a sticker and a bag so let me start with like the accessories chat so the first thing that i got is this little book tote and i like this one because it's like extra large like compared to my other book totes so this is like the widest one that i have as of right now and it says meet me at the bookstore super cute love it love it love it and then i also got this little sushi sticker if you guys can see look how cute i'm probably gonna put this on my laptop i love it adorable you know i love my, my love me some sushi chow and then i got three bookmarks and so i got this one which is like a mushroom bookmark and then i got this one which is like clouds really cute really cute and then i got this one which is like a little frog look how cute so adorable so those are the three bookmarks that i got and the stickers in a bag so then i got the immortal life of henrietta lax now this book i've been wanting to pick this book up for a while i almost bought it in my last bookstore vlog which i will put up here if you guys want to check out or haven't seen it yet but i've been wanting to read this for a while and if you don't know henrietta lax is she's basically the reason that medicine is what it is today they use her cells because her cells do not die so like even in, even now they're still using her cells for research for cancer for advances in medicine and they gave her zero recognition like and she just was used for basically what she could provide in medical advantage but like her family was still struggling she was still struggling and the fact that even right now people they're still using her cells and advancing because her cells never die like she has like vampire cells like it's, it's insane like she has literal immortal cells that never die and she didn't get any recognition she didn't get a huge payout her family didn't thrive her and her family should have like old money the way that i see it because like medicine wouldn't even be where it's at today if it wasn't for her cells so there was a student that ended up bringing this to light and telling her story so i really want to read this i've been wanting to read this for a while child and oh they gave me a little bookmark that's cute they gave me a little bookmark with cats on it i picked this one up this was over there where like all of the books that the booksellers recommend for you i was hoping that i got to keep the little recommendation tab that she had in there but i think they keep putting those same books on the shelf so she took it back but <laughs> I, it's okay as long as i had the book so i got the book they gave me a little free bookmark and then the final book that i got was skin of the sea it is the month of may it is the month of the black ariel okay little mermaid is coming so y'all already know what i'm about to be doing right y'all disney princess series okay I, I, keep up like keep up child like if you, if you don't know my disney princess series is up here i will link the playlist up here but y'all already know yeah it's, it's gonna be about that time it's gonna be about that time so i'm excited to read this i'm, I'm building my currently building my tbr for that video and just like everything i'm gonna do with you guys have a whole plan it's gonna be a great time so i'm excited for that but yeah so that was the final book that i got so all in all it was a successful book trip i had a really good time it was nice to go to new bookstores and i'm glad the weather wasn't too terrible i got a ton of new stuff can't wait to add these to my shelves y'all probably will see this in a book haul near you real soon but that's everything that i got there so thank you guys so much for coming along with me i'm about to start another vlog for you <laughs> for you guys so i will see y'all in that video but let me know if you have been to savannah or if you know anybody in savannah or if you've ever been to any of these bookstores let me know some bookstores that you would like me to visit or a city or state that you would like me to go to bookstores you want me to visit so on so forth blah 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 let me know in the comment section below something that you did this week that made you happy 
Okay, if you made it to the end of this video, please leave this emoji right here so I know that you are a emoji gang member. Gang gang, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's time to celebrate my birthday, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out. I will see you guys in the next video. Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting, and I will see you next time. Bye!